Hello. Uh, hi friend. Welcome to Overwatch. I, I'm excited that you've decided to join this community. Um, I'm happy that you're in this server. I'm really appreciative. Uh, so I'm Neo and I'm gonna, I've watched a little bit of your game already and I'm gonna do my best to give you some like general tips to help you, um, learn a bit more. I don't know if you play other FPS games, but I'm going to tell you this. Um, and hopefully I can give you some like notes that'll help you, uh, just actually like understand the game a bit more. Um, this is something I noticed right off the bat and it is i think your sensitivity is too high i think your uh i think your mouse sensitivity is too high if you play on other fps games um i would consider converting uh it whatever it is to this but when i see there's like a moment right there when i see that i'm like ooh, your sensitivity is very high and it's going to be hard for you to aim on dps heroes i say a high sense is good on like tank heroes but I suggest trying to if you want to play DPS and keep playing DPS I suggest you um, possibly change it because that that snap that I saw is like very very high so I'm gonna give you um, and it's better as you're still learning the game to try and like change this so there is a function in the game of sensitivity and I play at six so I obviously don't know how like competitive you are and stuff and how much you know about all this but um my mouse dpi is at 1000 and my in-game sensitivity is six so when you multiply those two numbers together you get 6000 and when you do that my sensitivity at 6000 is generally considered high it's not always um but to most people, that is a high sensitivity for Overwatch. I am a wrist aimer. Um, and a lot of people, uh, it's generally like, I thought it's a little bit better to be an arm aimer if you can. So it depends on how much room you have and what you're playing on. But when I saw like some of those jumps you were doing, it was just uh, like the frame, the frames moved so fast. I'm like, this is going to be very hard for you to aim. It looks like almost like you have like mouse acceleration on or something along those lines. So I would try and get used to be playing at a lower sense. And then just kind of play around with it, get used to it. Um, so I'm going to be a little, I, I'll, I'm just going to give you some like broad tips. This is a little bit nitpicky. I'm not going to lie. So don't be worried about implementing everything I'm saying at once. Um, especially because you're new to the game you are you are being healed right now uh so and especially when you your kiriko comes in and helps you she'll heal you so don't worry too much about getting the health pack okay so just let let your your healers heal you just in general unless you are alone don't get health packs this is all fine uh you really want to try and save because your movement speed goes down when you go into this form, try and be really, really out or in a in a position where you can benefit a little bit more from this because they can just push back like they are now out of your view. But if you were like where uh, your Reaper is or even a little bit more closer to where your Sigma is, you could get a little bit more value out of this turret form. We have some audio cues that are people are to your right. Be very hesitant about standing still in Overwatch. The more you can get used to moving and shooting, the better. Uh, I go back into turret form here and shoot that and shoot them. Nice. Very nice, trying to get the mercy. Your spread is very, very high on Bastion, so don't be afraid to just keep shooting, honestly. And I think- do you have infinite ammo when you're in that mode now? I think you- yeah, you have infinite ammo, so you can just keep holding down left click while you're in this mode. I love, um, that you use the split spawn function in this. A lot- it's brand new function, so a lot of people aren't aware of it. And again, when I see- that like how fast you'll be able to like jerk around this is so nice 
Um, it just says, says me your sense is too high. Very nice kill. It's possible there, Mercy looks for res. Nice try of the Helix. Since Helix has splash damage, I like that you tried to put it against the wall. Their Mercy is rezzing. You need to really kill her there. She's almost standing still when she rezzes. So when you hear that, like, sound, you, you just turn to her. Very nice kill. If somebody isn't standing close to a wall on Soldier, since his Helix does splash damage, aim for their feet. If they're standing next to a wall, you can aim for the wall. But if they're, um... If they're not close to a wall, then just aim for their feet when you right click. This is fine. Ultimately, we do want to try and take the high ground here. Um, and since you're new, you're not going to know this, but this is fine as you try and take this. But then after this, you're going to want to run this way. Oh my God, I hecked this up. Okay. You want to run over here to the left and go up here and then go here, and then you can shoot them from the high ground. This is the best positioning you can be a soldier. And if you start to get pushed from over here, uh, you can just drop down this way and then keep running. So I like that you're shooting here and actually I prefer this, but if they start to get a little bit too far, you wanna start wrapping around the top left high ground with your sprint. Oh, okay, run away, nice. This is an easy kill for you, you got this. Yeah, nice. You want to get a little bit better at uh, moving and shooting, even if you're just moving a little bit to the left or a little bit to the right. Um, and one thing is we want to try not to forget that we have heal pads. So you could heal pad right here as you're running. And you probably still die anyway because there's you're really out in the open, but I don't mind your positioning there in all honesty. Uh, just kind of got put in unfortunate time. Oh my gosh, I can't believe you got res. So now we kind of want to take the high ground again, but we also don't want to peek the window. I like where you are right now. Just be wary of the junk. Nice. Heal pat ourselves. Ooh, okay. But don't forget you have cooldowns. You have the heal pad. You don't really want to push this when you're that low. Nice. Heal pad. Nice. Okay. Yeah, don't be afraid to use your cooldowns. They come back really fast. And you're quite good at using Helix, so... Okay, we're getting pressured, so I'd run away, honestly. Oh, okay. Well, here's the thing. So, if the Doom actually choose to push us here, dropping is a great call. But because he doesn't, I, you want to stay up here. Just keep staying up here and then shoot at the Mercy, whose beam you can see up top there. Yeah, dropping here isn't great because now we're a lot more vulnerable. Nice focus on the mercy. Yeah. Uh, we're going to talk about some soldier specific things after this. So make sure you stay tuned for the end, okay? Ooh, so close. You got him. No, no, no. Go to the right. Go to the right. Get the Hanzo. You know he's one. Very nice try there. Oh my gosh. Uh, let me let me think about that for a second. So we have 16 bullets. We could try and reload before we engage here, but when we see her, we don't have right click. Okay. So it, we chose to reload there. We definitely could have killed her. Uh, just line up the headshots. Unfortunate. At seven days, I don't think you know what every single hero does at this point. So I would think that's kind of good and important to kind of figure out. Um, it's possible you do know, but I would just make sure you go into the, uh, the practice range and maybe read what certain heroes do. This is a general good rule of thumb that you can also know is if you hear somebody say something in a foreign language very loudly, that is an enemy ultimate, generally. So, so if they speak only English, then it'll still come to English. But it, like Mercy says something in German, Moira says something in Irish, Hanzo and Genji say something in Japanese. Um, so, and Doofus speaks English, so his will be in English. But when you hear like the um, the Mercy alt, that's the enemy alt because it's in a foreign language. 
alts on your team, oops, alts on your team will always be in English. This is all fine and probably maybe run back into the spawn room. This is good, sprint to him, sprint. Nice, go get him. I love it, go get him. Okay, now we, now we need to back up and wait for a team. So Overwatch, we're always stronger as a team. Um, and then from here, uh, in Soldier, it's generally good to play high ground. I really hope we don't get headshot right now. So instead of playing on cart over here, we need to wrap around over here and we can play up here. And then look at all the space we have. And if we're playing next to this wall, we can shoot, 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 and then come back. And then we can shoot, shoot, shoot. Especially, and then if we get too pressured, we can put the heal pad down and stay on this side because the heal pad's a circle. And we can come out after we're healed and shoot again and just kind of keep doing that and putting pressure from this angle. Please tell me we don't get headshot. Okay, good. And that'll stop us from getting pushed by Doom. Just want to run randomly, very good. I don't love this. Uh, so... We'll, t we'll talk about it in a second. I think you should keep playing Soldier. Um, I think that's really important when you're like first learning Overwatch is kind of sticking to something you feel comfortable with and then you can kind of branch out to similar heroes. Yeah, I can, t I can just tell your sense is too high. Um, so if you can just work on lowering it. Don't go drastic. If you go drastic, your games are going to go really poorly. But just try and lower it by like like a few, 1% if that at a time and then just keep going until it's a bit lower. And then that way you can get used to it cuz your shots are just going to be more consistent when you lower your sense. Um, don't forget, uh, you have melee, because I think if you just landed one more shot and a melee, you'd probably kill him here. Melee is default set to V. Nice. And then uh, that's, that's a scenario we want to try and right click on the feet. Very nice. Heal pad, don't forget to heal pad. You can get the mega as well, that's fine. But uh, that mercy, she could have just hit you once. Oh, you typing? And then from here, we can... So this is gonna be different on every map and obviously you're not gonna know this as you... Uh, you're gonna learn this as play, but we wanna try and stay high ground as soldier and then we could take this high ground right here and then shoot from here. Um. Honestly, you're just gonna have to try and learn where the high grounds are in every single map. You're not gonna know it. There are a lot of maps in Overwatch. Some of them, some maps even have three maps when you're playing uh, a King of the Hill mode. So it's gonna take a while to learn like the optimal positions and how to get up to the high grounds and where all the megas and stuff are like that. But um, on King's Row, this is about where you should be when it's when it's in this position. It's a very nice try. Yeah, just when you helix, it definitely try and do it near the floor. That's that's probably my biggest tip. If you take any more damage, make sure you heal pad. It's unfortunate. I think you still would have died even with that. Uh, we want to fall back now. Ooh, this is scary. Oh my gosh, this is scary. So we're kind of engaging with that our team right now, but so is our Reaper. Don't forget heal pad. Okay, this is fine. You can definitely shoot this Doom. Very nice. So then we want to play where I said a second ago to go up to the top left. This is very nice. Very nice. Nice. Good job. You popped off at the end. Okay. So we're going to go a little bit further into like very, very soldier specific things. Okay. So. Uh, 
Um, obviously, headshots are ideal. Um, people talk. I, I'm actually very bad at rocket jumping, so I kind of don't want to talk about it, but there's a thing you can do that can get you from, like, here to here if you... Oh my god, I didn't do it. Um, but you can, like, blast yourself and it'll get you some space. I'm, I'm so bad at it. I'm not even kidding. But it'll get you some height if you helix yourself and jump at the same time. However, it does injure yourself, so just... I messed it up. Oh well. Um... That's a thing that you should know uh, that can get you some height. It's on. Um, it's not always a lot, but it can get you from like a little. It can try and get you from like here to like there sometimes and stuff like that. So I'm not great at it. I don't play soldier all the time. I just play a lot of Overwatch uh, in general, and I have a, a decent sense of how to play him. So it's not the most useful thing. Something that's more useful is um, talking about the fact that he is a hit scan. So that means as soon as I click this button, he instantly takes damage. There is, uh, I, if I'm not, if I'm next to it, it doesn't matter. Even if he's like coming into this way, it has to be on him. And in my shots, if they're on him, it'll hit. It's nice, his soldier has absolutely zero spread, but he does have recoil. He's one of the few heroes in the game to actually have recoil. So if I just hold left click, my shots will always be there and you can see the shots visually doing a upward pattern. So you can get very used to this recoil, and a lot of people have, so that way you can just consistently hit headshots. Like that. Oops, okay. So anyway, you can get used to that recoil nice and easily. Um, so when people say you want to play a hit scan, this soldier is a hit scan. So the other thing we want to talk about is ult usage. We want to ult when we can already see the enemies and generally we don't want to do it if it's just the tank. If we only see one enemy, we don't want to do it, but if we see two, that's really good. One thing you can do, and it's very very annoying um, when people do this and you'll exploit this a lot, is if you hear the enemy Mercy, Valkyrie, you can visor and you'll just like instantly kill her. It's not always guaranteed and as you climb the ranks it's gonna be less guaranteed, but in the rank you're at if you hear the Mercy Ultimate, you can visor and you'll probably instantly kill her. Another thing that is good to know, and a lot of people thought it was really cool when somebody discovered this, but it's um, less cool now, it's just kind of a little bit useful, is there is a short animation cancel you can do. Where, um, so this is an animation when you put this down. You have to wait for that. Um, okay, we gotta wait 10 seconds now. But, uh, there's like something people talked about or discovered that is quite nice and it's, it's like known as the visor animation cancel. So you instantly hit E and then Q and you don't have to do that short animation of putting it down. So people thought it was like the coolest thing for a bit. Um, another thing to know is you can headshot in your ultimate. So I'll build it up again and I'll show you what I mean. A lot of people forget about it. Honestly, I don't know how useful it is, but if you are going to mostly be playing soldier, it's a good thing to know. Um, heal pad heals your teammates as well. And it builds you ultimate. Um, healing builds your ult as well. So you can headshot in your ult if your crosshair is on it. If not, you're obviously still gonna do body shots like this, but you can headshot in your ult. Okay, so I think that's all like the super um, like techie things you really need to know. I'm sorry I didn't demonstrate the helix jump very well. I'm just very, very bad at all parkour, so. And I'm bad at parkour IRL too, if that's worth anything. Well, I'll, I'll, that was good. So that gave me some height, make sure I can make this jump versus like it would be very hard for me to make this jump normally but if I do that I can still not make it either because I'm bad at parkour. So anyway we'll end the video on that. Um, I hope this was even remotely helpful. I do think uh, I want to say I do think you're currently at the same at the correct rank because it is going to take a bit for uh, you to like climb if you just constantly think about playing on the high grounds that is good but it's going to take a while for you to like learn about where the high grounds are and like what your matchups mean and stuff like that i think that generally at the rank you're at 
really using visor to counter mercy alt is very very good because there will be a lot of enemy mercies on the team if you see mercy rezzing try and make sure you right click her don't be afraid to be kind of patient sometimes and line up for headshots because they do a lot of damage but i do think that you're um like getting somewhere so i do think I i'm actually quite impressed with how much you've learned for the amount of time you've been playing uh and that's it